Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how I can make uh, how you can make the um, Disney-fied cartoon pet portraits. I haven't found any tutorials on it, and I don't usually do cartoony pet portraits, but I uh, decided to this weekend, and they came out really cute. Um, they're pretty easy; they're not that hard. Um, here's one of my dog Luna that I did, and I just printed it and cut it out to see what it would look like as like a sticker or something. Adorables. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Here's, uh, here's one of my dog, uh, Wormy that I did in the same style. Alright, so to start, we're going to get our picture on our canvas. And I just, um, I use Android, so I use Google Drive for most of this stuff. And then I just save it as a photo to my iPad. So I got my picture right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the opacity down just a little bit at first. And then we're going to create a new layer by pressing the plus button. And we're going to go to our brushes. And I like to use the Celestial Ink Brush with 67% uh, Streamline. And then I, what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, Selection Tool to get rid of the background first. So we're going to selection freehand. And I'm just going to go around her. You want to make sure you go a little bit on the inside. You don't want to get any of the colors from the background. Okay. And then we're going to copy and paste it. Oops. Or select it. Oh. Got to make sure we're on our image layer and then do that. <laughs> so let's try that again. Again, don't get any of the colors from the background. And I'm not going to do her legs. I'm just going to do the top half of her body with her paws right here. Right. And then copy and paste. And then you can just... Go to the first image layer and delete it, and then you have your picture. Then I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger right here, and then we're going to turn the opacity down a little bit. Got our brush again, the Celestial Ink brush, and we're gonna trace it. So for the cartoony pet portraits, you kind of want to stay with like um, smooth lines. You don't want to do too rough of lines, at least the way I'm doing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace, start at her ear. And make sure you're on a new layer when you start drawing. Let's do her ear first. This. And then I want to get kind of her wrinkles in here, so I'm going to move a few lines in there and get that to go up. And it's okay if you go exaggerate a little bit since it's a cartoon version. And I'm going to get her ear over here. I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit. And then I'm going to get her little ear hairs in here, and I'm going to create the wrinkles in her ear. And then I, her head dips down, so I'm going to make a little line right here for a little head dip. Do her little nose. And then um, for these, you can give them like expressions, since it's cartoony. And I'm going to make her be smiling. So I want to get her nose right here. So I'm just going to outline the nose area like this. Oops. You kind of want to use so somewhat of a uh, thick lines. I'm gonna do her nose. Oops. Let me try that again. There go. And then right here is her little lip. I'm just gonna make that black. And then I'm gonna trace her chin right here. And then her little chin roll. Now I'm going to make her look like she's smiling, which she is smiling, but she doesn't have an actual smiley face in real life. But we're going to add one on here. 
a little bit here. And I'm gonna add a little bit over here. Like that. Then I'm going to go to her eyes. Oh, I'll save the eyes so you guys can see that better. All right, so let's trace the rest of her body. Okay, I'm gonna do her paws. So I'm gonna do the paws on a different layer. So for the cartoon ones, I wanna exaggerate some parts of the picture. So like for um, this one, I exaggerated her tongue. Her tongue stopped right about here, but I made it go a little bit longer. And her nose, I made a little bit bigger as well as her eyes, just cause it's cartoony. So we're gonna do the same thing for her. We're gonna make the paws a little bit bigger. So I created a new layer here. And then I'm just gonna trace the paws how they are. Like that. And then I'm going to get her little nails. Where is that nail? So it's over here. Okay. And I'm going to do this paw. Then I am... Um, this is just how I do these. You can run with it and take these and make this your own style however you want but this is just showing you the general idea I gotta get her thumbs and her nails over here I know she has a nail there, nail there, nail there and a nail there okay, and then I'm going to draw in her toes I'm gonna draw on her toes over here. Okay. And then I'm before I do the leg part, I'm since the paws are on a different layer, I'm just gonna exaggerate them just a little bit. Make them just a little bit bigger it's for the cartoon look. And then I'm gonna finish off doing her legs. elbow, her arm, and her elbow crease. Same thing with over here, get her arm, her arm, her arm. And then she has a little bit of fur right here, so I'm just gonna make a little line right there. Okay, so now we got the paws and the legs. And then she, oh, raised. Let me create her little neck folds over here. And then it gets a little scruffy right here, so I'm just going to make a few squiggly lines right there. And then I'm going to do the bottom part of her body. And I'm going to create some colors right here to show the dimension. Okay. Now we're going to work on the eyes. So just to be safe, you can create as many layers as you want. It doesn't matter when you're sketching it. So I'm going to create another new layer. And so for when I do my cartoony eyes, just personally how I do it. Um, you create a layer for the pupil, a layer for the color, and a layer for white around that, and then the eye for the cartoony look. So I'm going to try to keep her original shape, but in a cartoon version. So she kind of has like slanty eyes like this. So I'm gonna make hers go up like this, and then kind of go in a little bit. So it still kind of looks like the shape of her eye. I'm going to erase this a little bit. I don't want the eyes to be too thick. I want the outline to be a little bit thinner. So we have room for all the colors. And like that. Oops. And I want a little bit of a wing back here, so I'm going to do a little bit of a wing. And we'll add eyelashes and eyebrow, too. Okay. So I'm going to get the eye. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Okay. I think I'm going to warp it and make it just a little bit taller. 
over here. Right? And then I'm going to create the pupil in there and the outer layers. So I'm going to create the outer layer out here. Again, I, it's just how I do it. I'm sure there's a million ways to do cartoon eyes, however you want to play around with it. So that's going to be the white layer. This will be the color layer. Here, I'm holding it down so it creates a shape and then I can move it. Right. Actually, I want to make this one a little bit more in. There we go. And then the pupil is going to be up here. Then I'm just going to drag and drop the black into the pupil part. And then I'm going to add some white to it. So I'm going to color pick from the white. I just hold my finger down on the white. And I'm just going to create some highlights in her eye. Like this. And the one down here. The highlight, the highlight. Okay. And then we'll, we will color this in here in a minute. I'm going to go back to black. I'm going to take the eye, go back to uniform, and move it. Make it just a little bit smaller. Move it in just a little bit. Make sure it looks good right there. And I'm going to add some eyelashes to it. And then with these, you can, um, you don't have to, but for the cartoon style, you can add eyebrows, her eyebrows over here. So I'm just going to add eyebrow like that. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. All right. And then I am going to, I think it needs to be over more. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. And then I'm just going to take that eye layer that I did and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to flip it and put it over here, right about there, a little bit smaller, turn it a little bit like that. Okay, now we have our eyes on there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the coloring part of it. So to do that, now that you're done with your sketching, you can combine all your sketch layers. Um, I go to the color, the actual picture we used. We're going to go to the magic wand and we're going to go to Gaussian blur. And I just blur it a little bit like this. Probably like 5%. Okay. And then I'm going to smudge tool it with the soft airbrush a little bit. I want to get rid of She We were out in the front yard so she has her leash on in this picture and I'm just going to get rid of that really quick before I do all the other colors and get rid of her collar in there and she's kind of gray in the middle so I don't want to put too much orange in the middle I want to get rid of the collar all right there we go now I'm going to soft airbrush it you know, two, three, four, five percent. This canvas is 2,500 by 2,500. If you use a different size canvas, the brush percentage sizes will be different. And I'll probably turn it to like 65 percent. And then I'm just going to lightly smudge the colors in here, but not too much. Keep them kind of where they go. Okay, and she's a, um, she's a dapple dash hound, so she kind of has like specks in her fur. So I will show you how to add those back in here after we smudge. I want to make sure we color the whole ear in here since we made it a little bit bigger. Smudge, more smudge. Smudge, more smudge. Gently smudge. Mm-hmm. Smudging away. Alright. I think I got a few spots on there. 
All right, you got all that smudged. I'm just gonna erase these two little spots right here. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our, our magic wand tool over here and I'm gonna go to um, hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm going to turn saturation all the way up to 100%. And then I'm going to hit the selection tool. And then I'm going to do that again. Use saturation brightness. Turn the saturation up again. And turn the brightness up a little bit. Okay. Oh. Make sure we're on our picture layer when we're doing this. There we go. Turn that up to 100%. Make sure on your picture layer again. Hue, saturation, brightness, saturation. And I like to turn this up so you get the, the brightness of it. Makes it look more cartoony with the bright colors. So first time we did 100%. Second time we're going to maybe turn it up to like, let's do 60%. And hit the selection tool twice. Now we got to add in some shading and her dapple coloring. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go back up to my brushes, and I like to use the Gelestula ink brush um, for the details. I use Gelestula ink brush. You can use whatever brush you want. It's just what I use. So um, I'm going to go to color pick the white. So if you have a brindle dog, you can add your brindle right now. I'm just going to go in there and add a few of her dapple spots. Not all of them, but just enough to show that she you know, has dapple fur or hair or whatever. And she has a few little specks on her ears over here, so I'm going to add some of those on there. And then right here, she's kind of dappily. Her lip. And then she's got some spots down here, so I'm going to add a few spots over here. Add a few spots over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to take that layer we just added the spots on. I'm going to go to the magic wand with Gaji and Blur, and I'm just going to blur those out like that. So you could still see them, but they're not like overly there. And now I'm going to add some highlights in there. Or right, let's do the low lights and then the highlights. So for her, she's a lot darker than this. So I'm going to go to all the way down to black. And I'm still going to use my Celestial Ink Brush. And the tips of her ears are darker than this, so I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to add some of this, the black on here. I'm going to change the opacity to like 75. Okay, now I'm just going to add some black in here. Add some black around this ear. Right here, right now we're just adding the low lights. We're going to gauge and blur this as well, so it's not going to stay like that. Her ear around her eye and it's a little bit darker and then her little crease and I'm going to do the nose a little bit remember dogs have that little lip thing where the lip right here is usually a different color so if it, your dog's lip was pink right there you could add some more pink or whatever okay and then I'm going to add a little bit near her armpits and I'm going to add some more black to her paws over here And then I'm going to add um, back right here on our little nails and a little bit on our sides. A little bit right there. Okay, and then I'm going to gauge and blur this out like right about, say probably like that. I'm going to turn the opacity down just a little bit like that. I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to gauge and blur the duplication. Oops. Let me get a little bit like that. Turn that down a little bit here. Turn the opacity down. Just work around to see to where you get it where you want it. I think right about there looks good. I'm going to add some highlights to her. So I'm going to create another new layer over top of my two dark layers. I'm going to do white. And then I'm just going to add some highlights around here, top of her nose, her inner ear, 
Mm. Not her lip, the nose area. And some around her eye. Here. I'm going to add some highlights now. We just did the low lights on the paws, so I'm going to add some highlights. And then I'm going to add one on her arm. And then some on the inside of here, and a little bit right here. And a little bit on her chin. Okay, and now we're going to Gaussian blur this layer too. So gosh and blur, and then just pull it a little bit, like right about there, like that. And we're gonna create another layer, and now this layer, we're also gonna draw, draw highlights, but we're not gonna gosh and blur this layer. So these highlights are gonna be in the same spots where we just drew those highlights without the gosh and blur. So these ones right there. So it just gives it some definition with some softness with the Gaussian Blur underneath of it. Like that. I like to do the tip of the nose. A little bit around her nose right there. I'm also going to draw in my white layer of the eyes while I got the white brush. So pupil color, pupil, color the eyes, white layer. And this layer on the outside, we're just gonna keep whatever color is already there. At least this is how I do it. Of course, you can do it whatever way you want. Okay. I'm definitely not a professional at drawing eyes. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then I continue adding our white over where we just gauge and blurred some white. Here, right here. And then the tips of the toes. to the toes, a little bit right here, a little bit on her arm, arm, and over here. Okay, now we're getting some definition going. And then I want to add some freckles while we're at it here to her nose. While I'm looking at it, I'm going to add some black ones too, which of course you could do whatever you want. There we go. And now we're going to work on her eyes right here. So I'm gonna create another new layer because I like to be safe and create layers as much as I need to and then I can combine or group them later. Um, her eyes are like a little bit, uh, you know, bluey green, like probably a lot of dog's eyes. But of course it's cartoons so you can make them as bright or colorful however you wanna do them. So let's see, probably make them um, this grayish blue color. And I'm just gonna put this in here. Cut. And I'm going to do this eye over here. I'm gonna take a little bit of brown, so I'm gonna color pick. And just make a little bit brown towards the middle here. A little bit brown towards the middle. And then I'm going to smudge that with the soft airbrush again, which comes on Procreate. Both of these brushes I'm using come on Procreate. Turn it down a little bit. I'm just gonna kinda combine those colors in there. Like that. And I'm gonna create some lines in her eyes. So I'm gonna go to black. So I go to classic, and if you pull all the way down to the left, it's black. All the way up to the left is white, so black. And I've got my inking brush. I'm just going to create a few um, lines in her eyes for her pupil, or colors of her eyes. Like that. And then I'm going to create some highlights in there, too. So I'm gonna color pick, color pick the white, and I'm gonna just gonna create a new layer, and yeah, new layer just in case. And I'm just gonna add a few dots right here, 
like that. And then I'm going to maybe, oops, do a little, little one down here like that. Okay. And then same thing over here. I'm just going to create a couple little dots and a stripe. Like that. Okay. And remember, we're keeping this color the same. And let's see, I'm going to go back to my color layer right here. And I think I want to make it a little bit brighter now that I'm looking at it. So I'm going to turn the saturation up just a little bit more. So it's a little bit brighter. Okay. And what else? Oh, okay. So now you got your Disney fied pet portrait right here. Um, you can obviously add a background if you want to. I um, like to do single designs to put on like uh, cups and tumblers and stuff like that. So for instead of doing a background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer over top of all my other layers. Oh, and also uh, go to your sketching layer and duplicate that twice and then combine those layers. It just sol makes the lines a little bit more solid and makes them a little bit bolder. Okay, so for this I'm going to do glitter just because I like glitter. Um, I have this Gold Rush 2 palette. I think it was from Etsy. Um, and I'm going to pick like a gray, which makes like this silver white color right here. Maybe a little bit darker gray. Like that. I don't know if you could see that very good. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit to our eyes over here. Right here. I'm going to do this underneath. The, oh, create a new layer. And underneath of the sketching layer. I'm just going to create a little bit of glitter in her eyes. Again, you don't have to do this. Or you can add different colors or however you want to do it. But I like the way it makes the eyes look with the glitter in there. And I'm going to add a little bit on top of her nose. And then I'm going to add... Wait a second, where'd that come from? There we go. Let me erase this white spot. Okay, back to glittering. I'm gonna add the glitter a little bit on her freckles I made. Again, this is totally just, do not have to do this step at all. Okay. Then I'm gonna add a little bit over here. I'm going to, I personally like to just add some glitter spots like on part of the body and then off part of the body, like this. And I want to add, I think for this one I'm going to add some over here by her eyelashes. And some by her eyelashes over here. I think I might add just a little bit in the corner of her eyes too. All right. And then I'm going to add some on her toenails. I'm going to make them glittery too, just for the fun of it. Like that. And then I'm going to add some over here on her little spots. Add some over here, and then I'm going to do a darker color, and I'm going to add some dark spots in there too. Or if you have a boy dog, you know, obviously you don't have to do the glitter. You can add a bow tie or a crown or whatever you want to add to them, a little cartoon sweater. I think these would make really good stickers. Really cute ones. I'm going to add some of the dark on her freckles over here too. Just for fun. I'm going to add a little bit in her paws. Great. Oh, her toes. Okay. And we have our Disney-fied pet portrait. Pretty close to this one that I did. This one I spent maybe 
probably like uh, 45 minutes or an hour on just because I was messing around trying to figure out the best way to do it. So obviously you can take your time and go more detailed with it as you want. Um, so thanks for watching and if you have any questions, you know, uh, I have my Facebook group. I have a couple Facebook groups and Instagram or just send me a message on Messenger. And that's it. Thanks for watching.